So lots of you guys have been asking me to do a Harry Potter gift guide um, and a lot of people have said oh so that I know what to tell people that I would like for Christmas or uh, to help out with buying Harry Potter fans uh, presents for Christmas. So uh, I, I wasn't really sure how to do this so I'm just going to give a couple of things that I think are small and cheap and easy that you can buy people and a couple of really good online places and shops if you can get to them where you can buy Harry Potter merchandise. So uh, the number one place I would suggest looking is Etsy. Um, if you don't know Etsy is a really uh, great online shop where people can upload their own products that they've made so the merchandise isn't official merchandise but it's equally beautiful and you get some really amazing pieces. Mostly uh, it's good for t-shirts and jewellery. Um, I'll show you a few examples in a minute but uh, it's also uh, quite cheap in some areas so a lot of the jewellery you can get some really nice Harry Potter bracelets and things like that um, for really reasonable prices. So uh, whether you're in a secret Santa and you need to get something for someone or you want suggestions or you've got a sibling or a friend who's really into Harry Potter and you can't think of anything that's fairly small to get them um, Etsy's great. Uh, these sort, this is the sort of thing you can get. Um, you can also find these on eBay for a really similar price, so I, I'd suggest eBay as well, especially if you're looking for Harry Potter jewellery. You get these really cool uh, golden snitch bracelets. This will literally cost an average of three to four pounds. Uh, that's all I would pay for it because that's where how much you can get it for. So check out uh, eBay and Etsy for that. Also, you can get cool things like replica Horcrux rings. Uh, this was literally only a couple of pounds. And again, the same with this golden snitch ring. And they're just a few examples of the massive array of what kind of jewellery you can get. You can get uh, lost diadem necklaces and key rings, uh, Deathly Hallows. Honestly, so much stuff. Uh, I, if you've got a Harry Potter fan that doesn't have much merch or they don't have anything, what I would say, my main thing to get them would be a Deathly Hallows necklace because it's like a really iconic thing. They can wear it all the time. Um, and they're also really cheap. Another great place I would suggest uh, is Redbubble. Uh, it's best for t-shirts and stuff, but it, it has literally every fandom under the sun, so not just Harry Potter. Uh, it even has, so I'm really into Hamilton the Musical at the moment. Uh, it's a new musical, and if you haven't heard the soundtrack, go check it out because it's the most amazing thing ever. Uh, but they also have like Wicked, uh, loads of different fandoms, um, but mostly they have loads of Harry Potter stuff. Uh, it's fairly more expensive than like, say you bought like a generic Harry Potter t-shirt off eBay or whatever, but uh, it's still pretty good. You get some really good like uh, artwork on them. They're really stunning, and you can get jumpers of all different types. So I'd suggest Redbubble. I don't have anything to show you because uh, I think I have one Harry Potter T-shirt from Redbubble, but mostly I just browse and look. I have a couple of uh, John Green ones uh, somewhere with quotes and stuff I've bought. So they are really good quality. Uh, so I would definitely highly recommend it. Again, as I mentioned, eBay quite a few times. eBay's perfect. You can find. Uh, old promo t-shirts, you can find so much stuff. For general merchandise, uh, it's great for finding 2001 pieces that are actually fairly cheap uh, and you can literally just, if you just type in Harry Potter and um, whatever it is you're looking for or just Harry Potter and just have a scroll, um, you can find perfect gifts there. So um, now I'm going to move on to uh, the sort of proper official uh, stores. Um, there are online shops for the Platform 9 3 quarters uh, shop that you can actually physically go to in King's Cross Station uh, on the main like sort of concourse um, and uh, they have all of pretty much loads of the stuff that you can get in store. Uh, the shipping is relatively cheap from what I remember but again it depends where you're shipping to um, but it comes in really nice packaging. I've ordered a couple of stuff off there. I've been really impressed with how it's come. It looks really nice and it's all in brown with like a little bow and it's really pretty um, and you can get obviously loads of stuff off there. Um, pens, pencils, uh, there, there's some really great things for gifts. Uh, you can get notebooks and stationery sets, things like that, like little things that you can give to Harry Potter fans. Obviously, the Harry Potter Studio Tour has a massive gift shop, and they also have an online store where they uh, have a lot of stuff that they sell in shop. Um, again, the prices are pretty much exactly the same. You might find some differentiation between the King's Cross shop and uh, Studios. I found King's Cross shop can be slightly more expensive in some cases and can also be cheaper in some cases. So shop around. If you're getting something uh, specific Harry Potter, especially like the exercise books or the stationery, things like that, uh, or even t-shirts, check online for both because uh, a lot of the time there is a little bit of a price difference which obviously everything helps. Um, but um, again, yeah, loads of, loads of stuff you can get chocolate frogs. Uh, sweet type things. If you actually go to studios, it's a perfect place to buy Harry Potter fans gifts. Um, now these shops will probably only apply to the UK, although I I, I mean the only places I've really travelled to are like France and Italy and places and they definitely don't have these shops, but uh, I don't know what it's like in America, uh, but um, Primark 
do so much Harry Potter stuff now these days. Uh, Primark is a, a really cheap shop anyway, if you don't really know much about it. Um, it's like a really cheap sh clothing shop, but they're all over the place in the UK, and they've started stocking Harry Potter stuff. They have a massive range of Harry Potter t-shirts with Deathly Hallows on, with that baseball shirts with the Hogwarts crest on, really lovely. All about six to eight pounds for the t-shirts, which are really cheap for a t-shirt. And um, they have loads of different varieties. They also have loads of Harry Potter pyjama sets. You can get the top and bottoms or just the bottoms, just top, pyjama shorts, pyjama vest tops. They've got a massive range of Harry Potter socks, um, Harry Potter slippers. Um, really just a massive range you can buy Harry Potter jogging bottoms. So if you're, if you're you know, in the UK and you can get to a, a Primark or wherever you are, you get to a Primark and you're looking for cheapish Harry Potter presents, they are the perfect place, like literally Primark has so much Harry Potter stuff right now, it's insane. Um, I've also seen, uh, they have Harry Potter stuff in Waterstones, obviously, because it's a bookshop, and I presume Barnes & Noble will be the same, uh, but Waterstones tend to have Harry Potter sections now, uh, they, where they've got all of the new copies of the books, and they also sell the pop vinyls in there. Harry Potter pop, pop vinyls are great gifts for people. Harry Potter pop vinyls look like this, if you don't already know. I've got three so far, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got the rest for Christmas. And I'll, if I do, then I'll do a video just on pop vinyls afterwards. But you can buy these online um, from Forbidden Planet, which is another great shop for fandom stuff. Um, or you can get them from Waterstones, or from the actual uh, Pop Funko website. Um, but these are great, they're usually about £10 depending on where you get them from, some places sell them at more like a £15 mark, but they're so cool, they're really adorable, there's like loads of different ones to get, so they're really cool presents. But like I was saying, you can get them in Waterstones for about £11 or £12 I think, and in Waterstones they also are uh, selling, in the one near me at least, they're selling a Harry Potter stationery kit which is about £24 but it's got a notebook in, a wax seal set, uh, letters and parchment and that sort of thing and it's really really cool. I had to restrain myself not to buy because I'm on a buying merch ban until after Christmas. Uh, but um, it's really really cool and they also do loads of Harry Potter notebooks in there um, and things like that. They also have the Harry Potter sticker kits mostly. The sticker kits are a great gift for uh, Harry Potter fans because they're so they're small but they're cute and they're really collectible and really nice. Um, you can get them in Waterstones for roughly £5 each. I did a video on my sticker kits if you want to scroll down and find it. Um, where I just went into detail about the sticker collections because they come with little figures and they're really cool. Um, but you can also get them online and from Barnes & Noble, I've been told. So I hope this was sort of what you guys were after when I said when you were suggesting a Harry Potter gift guide. Uh, I didn't really know how to do that so I've just sort of gone through the places that I usually buy merch and a few pieces that I think will make good gifts. Um, Keep leaving your suggestions for Vlogmas. I, I, I'm trying to do as I'm trying to film as many in like lots as I can. That way, I do have something to upload every day, and it's decent quality. It's not just me looking at camera saying sorry, guys. Um, so hopefully that's okay. And I'm trying to post on Instagram. Uh, I've got a big audition on Sunday, big audition on Wednesday, and I'm so not prepared. And I also have loads of college work to do, so I'm a little bit all over the place. And I need to literally leave to go to college in like five minutes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.